unboxing review. So today we have a ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 and uh, again it's a Z series, it's an overclocking motherboard. So right out of the box or right on the box we see, let's see the specs. So again here on top it says it has a support for Intel Core series motherboards, Intel Core CPUs supports 8th gen Intel Core desktop processors and Intel Optane memory ready so right there and uh, we have a right here let's look at the picture first right here it says it, it has a water pump header SLI HB bridge USB 3.1 USB or Gen 2 A plus C Intel Optane memory ready and what else can we see? It has a 12 power phase design, ensures sturdy components and completely smooth power delivery to the CPU. And uh, a premium 60 amp power choke, premium memory alloy choke, dual stack MOSFET, and what is this? A Nikon 12K black caps. So for the front USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type USB design, Gen 1 Type C USB design, and a dual Ultra M.2 for SSDs, an RGB LED with an RGB LED header, and a PCIe steel slots, tailor made for multiple VGA cards, and an M.2 key E for Wi Fi. So, let's see. So again, let's look at the in-depth specs. We see a CPU support of 8th gen Intel Core processors, CPU socket LGA1151, a chipset for Z370 chipset, so overclocking motherboard right here, expansion slots, we have 3 PCIe 3.0 by times 16, and 3 PCIe 3.0 times 1 M and 1 M.2. Two socket key. So again, for expansion or for multiple multi GPU support, it has NVIDIA Quad SLI and AMD three way crossfire. So very interesting. And it has a storage capacity of eight SATA three, two Ultra M.2 PCIe Gen three X four and SATA three, and uh, RAID. Intel SATA support RAID 01510 for USB we have two USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gigabit per second one Type A plus one Type C and then for you for the other one nine USB 3.1 front Type C front Type A and for RAID six USB points and for audio, we have a 7.1 channel HD audio real, real tech audio con codec and supports purity, purity sound for and the DTS connect. And the LAN is Intel Gigabit LAN, and the form factor is ATX. So this motherboard is now ready for. So this motherboard you can carry around if you like to carry around your motherboard <laughs> But other than that, let's try to unbox it So let's lift this one and open up this one And you can we pull it up? Yes, I think we yeah You can pull out the box with the handle And I'll show you an empty box right there On the other side and a very good ASRock logo that you see, a very black box right there. And let's open it now. And what we see initially is the software setup guide, manual, quick installation guide, Ooh. and the CD driver, and a postcard. We get a postcard. So if you like to send someone a holiday letter, try giving this postcard to them. 
there. And it says here we have a Z370 quick, quick installation guide. I've never seen a quick installation guide this thick before. But ASRock is good on that note. So quick installation guide, guys. So if you read this, it will be very, very quick. Trust me. And what do we have here? A screw for your M.2. A a pair of SATA cables. So actually we got two pairs, four total, four SATA cables. Your I.O. shield. For the I.O. shield, it has a, let me show you. It has a gray finish, a black and a gray finish. But it still has your protruding aluminum pins right here. So mind you guys, again, be careful of this. But that's it for the eye. And they give you a, I believe is a, ah, this is the SLI bridge. An SLI bridge for your 10 series of GeForce or NVIDIA 10 series graphics cards. Not no support for nine series, so only ten. And another, uh, another two for your M.2. And when we open this one, oh, there we go. We see the motherboard. So let's try to open it up. Do we get anything else? No more. No stickers. Okay. So let's put that aside. And then try to open it. So it's inside a very thick padded styrofoam right there with one, two, three, four straps right there so it won't get loose during shipping. So yeah, if you can focus it right here, we're not going to remove this one yet. So if you see, you have your, we'll go around first. We have our 8-pin power adapter there and your 24-pin right there. And uh, what else can we see? For, yep. So up here, we have your CPU optional, fan headers, CPU optional. Is it CPU optional? Yep, the CPU optional or the fan header right there. And your USB 3 port right there. And this is the new USB that they said. It's the. the they didn't say. SATA port? Something. Okay. Let's get to that detail later. And for the for the SATA, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight SATA ports right here, and uh, two. We have two Ultra M.2 slots right there. And what else? We have your LED fans or LED pins right here, and our. No, not LED, your JFP1. I keep messing it up. We have your power connectors, your reset switch right here, they're right here. And uh, a chassis fan with pump again right here. And your COM1. Nobody uses COM1. I don't know. If you use COM1, tell me. How do you use it? And you have your USB port again, USB to you. Oh. I'm sorry, we have three, three USB ports. This will be very convenient, guys, because usually if we only have two and you're using a power a liquid cooler with an attached USB onto it, usually this one is the USB for the pump and the USB for the case. And then if you another have a high speed Ethernet connector or a Wi-Fi connector which eats up another USB or USB port from the motherboard then you're covered on it So they give you three 
And we have a chassis fan too right here. Your, what's this, TB1 port. Your clear CMOS right here, clear CMOS. Your RGB header right here. So this is your dedicated RGB port. And your HD audio port, and which is a Purity Sound 4. So if you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five capacitors right here, I think, I believe. Is it capacitors? So yeah, very good right there as you can see and then our chassis fan 1 is right here and we have your LGA socket right here or LGA 1151 socket right here and then your reinforced your reinforced uh, PCIe slots we have two reinforced PCIe slots and then your uh, last one the X or the PCIe slot which is not covered right here down here so, like they said, it can support uh, SLI for your Intel side and uh, Crossfire for your AMD side. And uh, what? Oh, and yeah, I found it, guys. I finally found it. Your chassis or your CPU fan header is located right here here so the cpu fan header is right located below the what is it the heat sink on the mosfets so right there and again we have a io shield right here i forgot to mention it it looks like it's it's going to have an led right here so it will be beautiful if you put it on your case with a lot of LEDs, fancy LEDs right here. So it, the motherboard lights up, this section lights up, and this section lights up, and this section lights up, and it will be just a full on show for this motherboard. So I'm not just going I'm not going to remove this one anymore because we'll just see a just the PCB at the back. So that's it for the ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 motherboard. So there we have it. Very, very beautiful motherboard, in my opinion. It's all black design, black with gray stripes design. All in all, very beautiful. Oh, and I forgot. Let's see the ports. So we have two USB 3.0 port and your PS2 port right here and a VGA port, a DVI-D port, an HDMI port, a USB Type-C, USB 3.1, That's I think that's the one that they said that the, the three, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A plus C this one and then we have your gigabit LAN header right there or LAN controller right there and you have your two USB 3.0 again and we have your audio jacks so yeah. all in all construction has a little bit weight on it but it's on the lighter side but yeah very minimalistic design the MOSFET chokes are, it looks like they have a good quality on them. Like they said on their website, they have a DG Power 12 power phase design premium 60 amps power choke dual stack MOSFET combo caps. So if you understand that, please leave something on the description below or in the comments below. I'll try to read and again, we are growing together on our channel. so. I would love to hear from you guys. So that's it. That is for the, re the review of the ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 Series. So if you like this video, please leave a like. If you don't like, dislike. And don't forget to subscribe on our channel. The link is on the description below for this motherboard. And see you again on the next video, guys. Thanks. Peace out.